Welcome to the Mr. Bridside vlog. I'm Paul Yadzis, AKA Mr. Bridside. Bridside Network is Brooklyn's creative connection. We host a bunch of different shows and give people the opportunity to flesh out their talent, both in front and behind the camera. On this episode, we're gonna talk about the many faces I have. I always look different, people never recognize me. Short hair, long hair, beard, no beard. We'll talk about that and some more stuff, so please don't forget to like and subscribe, share the video, and stay notified for new content. Let's get this thing going. Go Bridside. We've been making content for a few years now, and if you go back and look at older videos, I look extremely different from video to video. So when we started Bridside Live, I had the Jon Snow type hair. It actually exceeded Jon Snow. It was so long, it went past it. I actually dressed up as Jon Snow for Halloween in Alaska. We went to see my sister's band play in Alaska at a special concert. The hair was perfect, look at it. I came in second place at the costume competition. I was very upset about it, still am. The winners dressed up as jellyfish with little light rings around them. It was cool, but no, come on, look at this. I had such a good time and so few ideas. The next year, I still had the hair and I did it again. I went to a costume party in Midtown Manhattan. They actually had the Game of Thrones thrown there. It's a great picture, look at this. All the girls wanted to sit on my lap. As Britside Live went on, you could see the de-evolution of my hair go from super long, past Jon Snow length, and kind of shorten up and go back to my traditional short hair that I used to have. I also like to wear a lot of hats, as you can see. So I moved on from the Jon Snow hair days and I've become a regular human being with my own identity now. I'm sick of going to bars and drunk guys come up to you saying, you look like Jon Snow, man. King of the North, King of the North. I was done with it. So I went back to my normal look and uh, we'll see, maybe one day I'll revisit Jon Snow. But I did revisit him somewhat because my sister-in-law for Christmas got me this Jon Snow hoodie, as you can see. Very Jon Snowy. Winter has come and I'm ready. Moving on. I thought it was a good time to do this episode because my birthday just passed. Uh, it was February 18th. Shout out to all the February babies. We actually have like five of us here uh, from the crew. We have Kevin Hondo Griffith, February 26th. Mike Bukowski, February 26th. Donald Borse, February 27th. Richard Hahn, February 24th. So big thanks to you guys. Hope you had a good time. We actually had a great time celebrating my birthday. We went out just to a local bar and packed it out with the Bridgeside crew. It was normally not a busy night, but we made it packed and we had a great time. The jukebox took free photo booth pictures and we had a dart tournament. Of course, I didn't win. Thanks to all your birthday wishes, much appreciated. Hopefully I have many more to come, we shall see. I guess with changing all my looks, I just like variety in my life, hence the channel of variety of shows. I always like things to be new and interesting and not get dull, and that's how I keep happy in life. Looking forward on the Britside calendar, we have Brooklyn versus on Monday. We're talking about all-star games, which sport has it the best? On Tuesday, Britside Live welcomes the Waters Project to the show. Live music, nine o'clock, don't miss it. If you don't catch the live streams, you can always click on a link and watch it later, or if you find this video at a later time, you can also find it back in the playlist. Hope to see you guys on the street in the city sometime. Maybe you'll recognize me. Once again, thank you to everybody for watching. Happy birthday, all the February birthdays out there. See you on the Britside. Go Britside. I may have been Jon Snow, but I do know some things. I know you should subscribe to the Bridgeside Network. We need the subscribers. Thank you. Is that good?